James Charles is about to start selling his paints next week, and there's been a lot that surrounded this brand actually launching. It's been a long time coming, but it's actually here which is kind of crazy since for so long it just kept getting pushed back and back and back and there was problem after problem and well now it's actually happening for him. James is pulling out all the stops too to try and get people to buy his products from posting a ton more on social media to saying celebrities like Beyonce and Nicki Minaj are wearing his products. Yes, you heard me correct. James has been posting that celebrities have been wearing his paints. We'll get into all of that and much more. But before we get into anything, I want to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by Scentbird. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service and is the fragrance destination. This is the perfect way to try out something new. And if you're traveling for summer, this is perfect since you can receive up to three travel size scents monthly at Scentbird. This month, I received X Nihilo, Fleur Narcotic, Heretic Pistol Whip, and Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume. And this one ended up being my top scent of the freaking summer. Like, I've been wearing this all month. It's giving clean girl. It's giving summer. I'm just obsessed. I'm super bad at describing scents, but guys, it smells good. <laughs> and it's always exciting to switch things up and try something new. And Scentbird lets you do just that by choosing a new designer or niche fragrance to try every month for just $17. Every month, you can pick whatever you want to receive. So so there's no surprises. The choice is up to you. Sometimes I like to get my favorites. Other times I want to explore something new. So it's nice to be able to switch things up. They have all the name brands like Prada, Dolce, Gucci. But what's also great is that Scentbird carries a lot of amazing niche scents as well. So you're sure to find your favorite. And with my code SPILLSESH55, you can get 55% off your first month at Scentbird. You can also just scan the QR code on the screen. So head on over over there to get your scent of the summer, start smelling good, smelling nice, try something new. Once again, use SpillSesh55 or scan my QR code to get 55% off your first month at Scentbird. It's just a little over $7 for your first month and it's available in the USA and Canada. Thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video and let's get into everything. So recently, James made the big announcement that he was going to start selling his paints next Monday. That's when the big launch is happening, so he wanted to break down everything he was offering. He's got his paints that he's been teasing for a little while now, and each tube is about $15 or you can buy all 10 paints for $135, and he's going to be selling these products online. He says that eventually he hopes to be in stores, but it's just really expensive to be able to purchase enough units to be sold in a store. They will not be available in stores. So that's one of the questions that I've been getting asked quite a lot. These will only be available online at painted.co, which is our website. Um, we would love to be in stores eventually. I would love to hear your guys' kind of thoughts on, you know, whether you want to see an Ulta, Sephora, maybe even a drugstore like Target, CVS, Boots over in the UK or Nike in India. Um, but for right now, it'll only be available online. We are a small brand, an indie brand with no partners, no investors, and it costs literally millions of dollars to be able to actually produce enough units to sell to manufacturers to go into stores. So hopefully, yes, one day we will eventually be in stores, but not yet. He's also selling brushes and his own makeup sponge aside from selling his Create paints. And James did say that this wouldn't be the last of the paints either. He does plan to expand this line at some point. I'm sure it'll depend on how well this one product actually does sell, but as of right now, his plan is to expand this line. But we will definitely be launching more colors in the future. I already have a couple of ideas as to what colors I want to launch, but I would love to hear feedback from you guys as well on which colors you want. I've already seen people say that they want to see glitter paints, they want to see neon paints, so we're definitely already in the works on seeing what we can create next for you guys. James did also touch on the fact that his first product being face paints was a little confusing to some people. They were just not feeling it at the beginning. They were like, this isn't looking very beginner friendly, you know? Even though he's disagreed with that by promoting this as something that anyone can use and it's not as hard as it looks, he wanted to explain why he chose this product over another type of product, such as like a blush. I think a lot of people have been saying like, 
One of the things that I've gotten a lot of comments about is like, oh my God, like, why are you launching paints first, right? I mean, the brand is called Painted. It's all about bringing artistry and pro formulas to makeup consumers, whether you're a pro makeup artist or a beginner. And I feel like it would be a little silly if I was to release a brand called Painted and make it all about artistry. And then my first product was like a boring, neutral, basic eyeshadow palette. You know what I mean? So I wanted to do something bright, something colorful to get you guys going. And then of course we will release um, other products later on in the future of the line that are a little bit more beginner friendly, a little bit more basic glam friendly, some more complicated products. That's what a makeup line is. You know, there's so many different products that people will be able to choose from, but just right now, this is the first launch. Which I think a lot of people were thrown off when his first product wasn't a blush because James had been talking about it so much on TikTok. He had been showing off different samples that he had gotten back from the lab of blushes and he was talking about brushes. And I think a lot of people just thought that blush was going to be his first product. So when he said paint, everyone was like, what are you talking about? Like, this is so out of nowhere. Nothing that you've really been teasing or anything like that. But he did say that he knew he had to bring some sort of wow factor to the table because people don't really like him and he needed to come out with a product that people were like oh my god like i need that or something not that i think that paints or something that anyone is really like oh my god i don't like james charles but i need that I think he just wanted to do something a little bit more standout or a little bit different than a blush because if James Charles is coming out with a blush, it's like, okay, there's like a million blushes out there. It's kind of boring, you know, not to be, but a little like a blush is nothing special. Like there's a bunch of them that you can have at the store, but a paint, there is paint products on the market, but it stands out more than a blush. I don't know if people are exactly reaching for it as much as they are for a blush, but James is certainly hoping so and he was kind of explaining that there are people that were wondering what was happening to the blushes because he had built all this hype for it but he says it's coming it's not going to be this launch it's not going to be the next launch but it's coming eventually i mean okay yeah i got a lot of questions saying what happened to the blushes the blushes are still coming out you guys i they'll just not, they're not first they're not the first launch but they're coming they are definitely coming that's all i'm gonna say like I said, James's second launch is also not going to be the blushes. I don't know what the next one is about to be. I wonder if it will be somewhat like the paints where it's not coming across as the most beginner user friendly, but I guess we'll just have to see. He had also talked about mascara at one point and then never really mentioned it again. So I'm not sure if maybe the second product will be a mascara. I don't know. It will be interesting. I feel like mascara is one of those products that could make James blow up. Honestly, with the mascara scandal earlier this year, everybody went out to go buy the mascara just to see if it worked the way that it did for Michaela. And I feel like people will want to go out and try James's mascara just to review it for a video to see if it's good or not. I could see that really being a thing, especially if James came out with a video and his lashes looked amazing and everyone's like, okay, like let's put this to the test. Like I don't even like James Charles, but let's see if we like it or not. I feel like mascara would be like a huge marketing thing that he could do, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Now with his launch day around the corner, he's pulling out all the stops to try and get people excited to buy his paints. And when I mean pulling out all the stops, I really mean it, you guys, because he's been posting celebrities wearing his products. And I'm not even sure if they're aware of the fact that they're wearing James Charles products on their face, but they're a part of his promotion now. James said in his big video announcing when everything was going to be sold that Beyonce has worn his paints. Black is black, so smooth, so sleek, and of course dries down fully matte. Look at that, you guys. It is the eyeliner of your dreams. The sharpest, pointiest wings, of course, using our painted brushes, which I'll tell you about <laughs> soon. You can put it in your waterline. You can blend it out for a smoky eye. Any sultry makeup look, this is going to be your best friend. Don't just take it from me though, okay? You guys are going to die. I when I tell you this, Beyonce's makeup artist, use this on her on tour. Raquel, I love you so much. I cannot even, Beyonce has worn my paints. You guys, the mother queen bee has worn ink and also pinky promise on her tour. If Beyonce can wear these paints and dance around on stage being a legend for hours and hours and hours straight and they still stay on and look amazing, you can do it too. And he's continued talking about it in several posts now. This one on the painted.co Instagram said, Beyonce, Queen B tearing up the stage wearing our new Create Paints in shades Pinky Promise and Ink on her Renaissance tour. 
This is so unreal. Thank you so much to Raquel Beauty for your unmatched artistry. He also posted it on his Instagram story saying, surprise, forever grateful to Raquel. Oh my God. And Beyonce isn't the only one. He's also shared on Instagram this photo of Nicki Minaj with the caption, are we dreaming Queen Barb Nicki the Goat Minaj wearing shade blueprint on the eyes for her new Barbie World music video. Thank you so much, Diana Shin, for your artistry. We're so grateful and excited. You love the Create Paints. Now, I don't know if they know that they're being used to promote James Charles' brand or not. I'm gonna go with no. So I wouldn't take this as any sort of endorsement of him by them and his brand, but their makeup artists are clearly a fan of James or a friend, and he's done the favor of getting his products to them to use on huge stars for this purpose. I mean, obviously seeing Beyonce or Nicki Minaj using James Charles product is of course going to get some people to want to buy the products. It's really big for James, but some have commented wondering, you know, is it right since it feels like he's saying that they're endorsing his brand when they might not even know what's on their own face. But that's how James is trying to get anyone and everyone to give his brand a shot. He started posting way more about these paints and how to use them to try and sell these to people. And I really wonder how people are going to be on launch day, if they're going to be selling these products out. Maybe he'll only release a small amount so that it does look like it sells out to drive more hype. And then he'll do like a little restock or something. I guess we'll have to see if him waiting all these years to have his own brand was worth it, but it's clearly been like some sort of a messy ride for him as there's been a lot of ups and downs and it's taken really long time for this to come out. But I want to know what you guys think about all of this in the comments. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.